it is interesting too. So please enjoy my presentation. In the beginning, I'm going to show you the results of my research. Only two. Finally, Muslim. No one? 
what? <laughs> yeah, but actually, I expected that there would be lots of Christians and some Buddhists and no Muslims. Mm, I want to. I think Khan wants to ask another question. Don't you have any idea about this topic? How do you think? <laughs> Is that... believes that God Allah is one and incomparable and Muslims 
believers of Islam think that Muhammad is the last prophet of Allah and they follow the Quran as a holy book. Most Muslims are consisted of two denominations, Sunni or Shia. And more than 50% of Muslims live in South Asia, Middle East, and Northern Africa. Even though most of us are not Muslims and haven't met Muslim friends before, Islam is the second largest religion in the world. With about 1.57 million followers, 23% of the world's population. And as our friend Khan mentioned, not all Muslims are terrorists. Generally speaking, most Muslims do not agree with terrorism. Some extremists who follow the teaching of their God in the wrong way cause those kind of terrorism under the name of Jihad. Actually, jihad has two meanings, an inner spiritual struggle and outer physical struggle as holy war. Most of us are thinking jihad as terrorism because of that outer physical terrorism. But many Muslims think jihad has only one meaning, inner spiritual struggle. Based on history, there was an interesting fact in the period of crusade. If you have watched this movie, Kingdom of Heaven, you might know about this. Saladin, the Khalifa, the leader of Muslims, allowed Christians to stay in Jerusalem after conquering the city. At that time, even though there were fights, the atmosphere between Christians and Muslims was not that violent. In addition, other traditions such as how to pray, eat, or wear are usually based on their historical or geographical factors. For example, marrying more than one woman originated from Arab culture and then it has been written in Quran limiting the number of wives to four only if a man could treat them with fairness. So, most Muslim families are monogamous. So most, most Muslim males have only one wife. By and large, the world has become smaller than before because of the development of technology. And I'm sure most of you will meet a Muslim someday. Actually, I have an experience meeting a Muslim when I traveled Europe. At first, I was afraid of him a little because it was my first time to talk with Muslim. Nevertheless, we could become friends. He was very familiar with Koreans because his, his brother was living in Korea. From then, I have broken my stereotype towards Muslims. And I'm trying to understand and respect them. You will see they are not that different from us, so I'm asking you to treat them friendly. This is the end of my presentation. Thank you for listening.